So in this study, there is far more concordance in the monozygotic twins than there is in the dizygotic twins, which indicates a strong but not complete genetic influence. Now, I know we've been over it a couple times now, but I really hope you understand this important connection. When you have a strong correlation or concordance with monozygotic twins, and you don't see as much with dizygotic twins, that's when you know there's a stronger genetic component. When the monozygotic twins and the dizygotic twins are closer together in their concordance or correlation rates, that's when you can't say it's because of genetics, and that's more to do with the environment. Now, I use numbers from one particular study of bipolar disorder, but there are multiple different studies out there, and these numbers can change over time, so don't take these as a fact of bipolar. This is this being the final say or anything. Science constantly reevaluates its conclusions based on the given data, and this could change in the future, but for our purposes right here, this study indicates a strong genetic influence.